you doing? I'm doing. Whew. I'm having a rough time lately. I don't know what's going on. But, back. Hopefully. Anyway, see, I'm just like, um, I'm going to start this video with a show and tell, showing you some of the things I have been, that I have finished, and then we'll talk about some other things. So first of all, here is the bookmark. If you're on the Facebook group, you saw the post where I was working on this. Isn't this cool? At first I was like, why is there so much white? It's going to look so weird, but it actually looks really nice. I don't know why I doubt them. Usually the colors always work out, but it comes with the beautiful tassel that we are all used to. So there's that little dude. And I have yet to finish this guy. The, um, you know how awful it is to work with the pearls? The AB pearls because they like to pull the wax out of the pins and they're very slippery. So that's why he is not done yet. So we're just going to clip him right here for now. So I can get out the rest that I have been working on. Have a nice little stack here for you. So I did this Christmas tree. Beautiful. This was a really, really bad um, setup. The, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but the stars have a lot of excess on the edges. And I had to use every single one um, and even had to pull a couple out of my trash bin because they were just, I had to use them. And I don't have this size in my stash, go figure, right? And then here is cat hair everywhere. This beautiful angel. Now, if you saw the video where I got her with the unboxing of her, I was talking about how weird it was that they put the green AB there. I'm still not thrilled with it, but it's okay. It'll work. I love the purple on her dress. I almost want to get another one of these because the the code that they used for that purple is the red and white half circle right there. And it made me think of candy cane. So I almost want to get another one of these and do her dress in all green and then do alternate red and white to make this a Christmas angel. I think that would be kind of cool. But I really like her. She's really pretty. not working. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and then here is one of my Coca-Cola ladies. I love her so much. And she has, I swapped out the small crystal stones for the, um, the sparklers from Diamond Dots. So these are not Tina sparklers. These are the Diamond Dots ones. So I just, I wanted to see how good they looked. And they do look good also. I love her. She's so cool. So fancy with her glass of Coke. And then here is my final owl for my set. I'm just waiting on frames. I ordered frames, um, this the 12 by 12 frames from Dollar Tree. They're just um, back ordered right now, so I'm just having to wait until um, those come in. And she is absolutely gorgeous. I love her. Love those colors. And I did my little man. I got him done. Isn't he sweet? I know a lot of you um, bought him after I showed him. Look how sparkly. So sparkly, look at that. <sighs> so I gotta get him framed and get him put up. And I did finish her. She also has the um, diamond dot sparklers on her dress instead of just the regular crystals. She's stunning, isn't she? I love her. I also have her in a full drill. So I'll 
I'm curious to see how she's going to turn out. Put these guys back. So if you're probably wondering what this is here, whoops, this is a mystery painting that I bought from a group online and I will link or on Facebook. I will link, um, put a link in the description on the video for it. Um, actually, I might go ahead and put it in the thing too. Um, it's pretty cool. She has quite a few really neat paintings and she's got the bigger ones and her prices are excellent. So um, check out the link in the description and give her some love. Now this one, look at this. It came in its own little zipper top bag. It flipped it out. I love it. Um, this I got from Amazon. I'm waiting on I was supposed to have another one from Amazon that I was going to show you, but it went from Davenport to Claremont to Astatula at 6 a.m. yesterday. Was out for delivery all flipping day long. And then for some reason it went back to Claremont and is now out for delivery. That's like, okay, so Davenport is like, like two hours away, I think. And then Claremont is like 30 minutes or so. I don't know where the Amazon hub is in Claremont. But anyway, Claremont is a couple of cities over. And then my city is Astatula. So it went from Davenport to Claremont to here. And I don't know why no one delivered it yesterday because I am literally two blocks from the post office. And then why it went back to Claremont at midnight, I, I don't get it. So um, anyway, I only have one to show you from Amazon. And I'm a little bit late sharing it. But um, as I said, last week was just a nightmare week for me. So, and this came, I want to say this came on Friday. But it's so awesome. It's so awesome. I haven't opened it yet, so we're going to see the same. So it comes with the standard toolkit and some bags. And it also comes with the nice clear packaging. It's funny, I, I went through all, all of my drills because I have lost a set of drills for a painting that I was getting ready to do. So I literally went through all of the drawers that I have my drills in. Ugh. And I wrote down every single code, every single one. Now each page is its own like section in the drawer. So, I mean, it does, I don't have that many drawers. I have six, seven, eight, nine drawers. Um, but anyway, that's still way too many. But I can't find that set of drills. But anyway, um, why did I bring that up? Oh, I noticed that way back in the beginning, we had, remember the red and white? Um, almost like cherries or like little swirlies on the packaging. I had forgotten all about that. They don't do that anymore. It's all metallic printed. It's either purple, blue, most mostly purple and blue, but sometimes you get the silver. But it's funny how they've like evolved. Now if they would all evolve to go into the zip top bags, I'd be because then you don't have to. There's none of this going on. Look at that. So this, I'm getting myself. See, I'm like all discombobulated. I want to save that bag. I don't know what I'd do with it, but I want to save it because it's so cool. So these are the drills for this painting. So there are 60, no, not 60. How many colors were there? Does it show on here? No, it doesn't. I can't remember how many colors there were. 30, 40, 50 maybe? I don't know. Anyway, um, there's a lot of colors. And it takes up so much time. 43 colors, excuse me. 43 colors. But that takes up so much time. If they would all go to the zip top bags, we wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. Okay, so moving on back to my original getting away from that tangent that I went on that was terribly long. So this is my dude from Amazon. And as you can see, there is a flag, American flag on his or her wings, which I think is so awesome. 
So I will be finishing this one very soon. Um, I might work on it in between the do this one and this one at the same time. Um, actually, no, I can't. Maybe I can. I don't know if I have another set of boxes. I need two boxes because there's 28 colors on this. But it is really cool. I'm a little up worried about the face. But again, when you go back, like you're supposed to look at it, it kind of gives him the like zeroed in on the, on the bad guys. So it's very cool. I like it. Very happy with it. I'm not going to go through the colors with you. I just wanted to pop in and say hi and let you know what I have going on. Um, so this is 16 sections. So you won't see this video for probably about a week or two, probably two weeks. I'm not going to like freak out and get it done like quickly, but just so you know, it's coming. Um, so I had, a, I had quite a few people tell me that they wanted to see another mystery like paint along. So we will do that. And, um, should be fun, right? I don't know how much talking I'll do. I might, it might just be music like the last one because I'm not real good at like making small talk while I work. I tend to zone out. So talking while I work really doesn't work. <laughs> but anyway, um, do I have anything else to show you? Oh, yes, I do. thought I would show you some um, of the stuff I've been working on. Here is a yellow tray that was ordered. Isn't that gorgeous? So I used um, several different things. I have, I didn't have a nice yellow glitter. It's really, really pale and it doesn't really show up like yellow. So this, I kind of like mixed a couple of glitters together and yellow alcohol ink. And I think it turned out really cool. What are you doing outside, girl? Oh, oh, that's perfect timing. My diamond painting came. Is that from Amazon? That doesn't look like Amazon. That looks too big for what I ordered. Oh, it's not mine. Dang it. Got all excited. Okay, so, oh, they're sticking together. So this is a pink one that... Oh no, I'm gonna have to remake that one. It's warped, can you see it? See how it warped out right there? That's weird, I don't know why it did that. Well, that's a dud. And then I have this beautiful teal. And I had a request for peach. Isn't that pretty? And then of course we have pearl, purple. And then, I don't know if I showed these when I made the first one. Also, this green is super cool. I don't know why I have two of those. I thought someone had ordered them, but apparently I was just dreaming it. So this is the hearts. This is a really tricky one to do because the since the... Um, the hearts are so big, they like to make like divots in the tray, but it turns out really cool. I made a beach mason jar tray, which is pretty cool. Again, pretty tricky because the shells are in there, but you can see I still have some excess I gotta clean up, but isn't that cool? I love it. I love this tray. This tray is so cool. I made a beach, kind of beach, crystal heart. There's sand on the back layer, which is really hard to see, but in person it's much cooler and it's so sparkly. And let's see. Oh, here's the, did I show? I can't remember if I showed these. We have our googly eye and look at the mess I made. I made a huge mess on this guy. But um, this is my bucket that, my cleanup bucket. So we have a skull and we have a crow. And then we have an owl. And we have a dog. Look at that glitter. <gasps> so cool. And then we have a kitty 
I love these glitter mixes. This one is from a company called Glitter Hippo, which is like an hour and a half, two hours away from me. And I've been down to their store a couple of times. Um, what is that? Why did that happen? Ew. See, the bad thing is when I take stuff out of a mold, I just take it out of the mold and like dump it in this bucket and wait to um, clean up the edges. But anyway. So here is one of the gradient hearts I did with black instead of the white. And I thought that turned out pretty cool. This was supposed to be pink, but as you can see, my pink glitter is way too pale. And then I did a two-tone one, which is kind of cool. So I tend to keep smaller molds um, next to where I'm working. So when I end up with an overpour, if I have too much resin mixed up, Instead of wasting it, I just, you know, randomly pour it into different molds, which is kind of what happened with this guy. I had just a little bit of that resin left with the, um, the dark color, so I just kind of like dripped it randomly in the mold and then poured in the rest with the, um, it's called the Great Unknown, the blue. So that I just kind of like dump it, you know, wherever. And let's see, was there another one I did like that? I don't think so. But here is that Pop Rocks color in the heart, which is this tray right here. Isn't it gorgeous? There's a drill stuck to the bottom of it. Or not stuck, but there it is. But see, there is Pop Rocks. Isn't that gorgeous? This is from Glitter Guy. So there's two main companies. So if you ever want a specific color, Glitter Guy and Glitter Hippo are the two glitter companies that I use. And mainly because um, the selection of glitters at Joann's are not great. But check out what I did. Ah, this is a Velcro um, piece that the bags, that's how they made the cabinet. So I went and bought uh, Velcro and hot glued Velcro onto my bottles. So this one, see like this one, this is the glitter guy. Pink lemonade, it's pretty cool. So as you can see there, there are some, the other, um, my other glitter guy glitters are on the, the side of my cabinet there, but I thought that was kind of cool. But those, these are the ones from Joann's. Michael, uh, Hobby Lobby has a kind of a better selection but not like Glitter Guy and Glitter Hippo. So if you ever ha come across a color that you like, you can message me and see if I have it. Um, I also have been doing more of the little fish bowls. I was told that, they, that the blue water is preferred. So um, I've gone back to, I was just doing clear because I thought the fish showed up better, but I was told that the blue water is prettier. So I've gone back to the blue water. And then I had an order for Mr. Sorting Hat there. So I think that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout. I'll be back real soon. Thanks so much for watching.